How's it going, everybody? Hey. Everybody's doing good at home? Hey, they're not Yo, ready. Yo, this is the start of a new podcast that we got going on. Absolutely. Oh, Rambe, yeah, we miss you. I just want to. I hey. just want to. I want to go with Harambe, you know? Harambe. It's an emotional weekend, and and I just want to talk about Harambe one, yeah. one time. I miss you, Harambe. Sad. I miss you, Harambe. Ooh, we were friends. Yes, we were. And I visit you. Amen. You were behind those bars. I miss you, Ooh. Harambe. Harambe. Yo. Podcast every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. How's it going, everybody? How's it going? How you doing, Danny, Jerry? How you feeling, man? I'm I feeling can't good. Complain, bro. I'm excited to be here. Yeah, yeah. I'm feeling really good. I feel like uh, this song might. You think it will give us a copyright strike? Uh, no, not at all. It, nothing's ever copyright violation until you do some numbers. Mm. So uh, un- until we do some numbers, we ain't really got nothing to worry about. <laughs> Definitely, I agree. So let's let's just let's kick it off by. Uh, Talking about some interesting topics today, and I want to start off by talking about Harambe. Calm <laughs> down. So Harambe is this gorilla, right? He got shot at a zoo. A lot of people say it's conspiracy because he had some leaked information about Hillary and, and then about the presidential campaign and about some things that she was going to bring to the table once she's elected. I don't believe that's a conspiracy. You think it was true, right? I know it was true. Yeah, so do I. I you know, I have, I, a, I have a top secret clearance. Yeah? Yeah. Is there any way we can get that 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 person to come over here? Maybe put him on a podcast, get him an interview. Who who's that person? This top this top cl- uh, clearance. No, I I me yeah me. Oh you oh, no, okay me, okay. Me. So, so no, let's talk. I so have a non disclosure <coughs> though. I can't. I have only so much I could talk about. But I know for a fact. So what's gonna go on in November? Har- Harambe had some uh, he, he, some intel. Yeah, I I agree, and uh, I feel like <coughs> Harambe was was more than just a an animal. He was he was more than just a soul. He he had passion in him. I remember back then, you know, we used to talk here and there, but at the I feel like it was just way more than just that connection that we had. I feel like it, you know, yeah. he's, he's gonna be missed. No, for sure, he's definitely gonna be missed. For sure, um, especially come November. Yeah. So so what's what do you think is gonna happen in the election? Well, I think uh, anonymous is gonna make an appearance. You, you really think? You, so what do you think about anonymous? You think it's like real legit? Uh, it, it could be government run, but uh, I like it. Yeah, you, th- you think? But I think people are still too slow and, and don't give it enough credit. Uh, but but you see, kind of it becomes a joke to me when when anonymous wants to bring up, um, <coughs> you know, topics about like Kanye West, how they, how he they were calling him out and stuff like that. So th- it, it makes me think like maybe this is in it, it really isn't. But you don't serious. think they had a point. Not really. I mean, not important. Not a point important enough to go anonymous and talk about it. I mean, that's something that they could have just talked about without the mask. Yeah. Don't you think? I agree. I feel like when we see videos like that, it becomes. But it reminds it me like a. Serious. Kind of reminds me of when uh, Osama used to release videos and shit, just to let you know that he was staying relevant. True. <laughs> true. <laughs> right. Yeah, I guess you're right. Just just to make sure that they, that you understand that they're real. Right. I guess so. It makes sense. Right. Um. <coughs> So we're introducing ourselves. We're a absolutely. We haven't even done an introduction, <laughs> right? <laughs> hey, my name is Jerry, and this is Danny. My name is Danny T. Yeah. Um, I own a barber shop. He thinks he does. <laughs> his barbers really own it and, and control everything goes on. True, true. That's true. But his name's on everything. So if anything happens, you know he's it's on me. Yeah. So so and he is the owner. <coughs> this is Jerry. He's a, he's a great videography. Man, I love recording video. Like the only thing missing from my collection is a drone. Once I get a drone, I'm charging fifteen hundred dollars a music video. So, and you know what? His videos are are worth. You know, I was I would pay five hundred dollars if I was a rapper. I I'd pay that for your quality. I I'm really humbled. like it. I'm humbled, bro. <laughs> I really am. That that speaks volumes. And and you know what? If I had twenty dollars, I I would get a haircut at your barber shop. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just Man. kidding. No, this but is Danny T with the broken mic with the tape and yeah, 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 uh, you know, I, we, we I don't know if you can see, but but Danny. Br- so I brought my equipment, and Danny goes and breaks everything. He broke, so he broke that right there uh, to hold the mic. And your Harambe I'm, savage ass is gonna blame. <laughs> you can't even fuck. He was dragging the mic across the fucking street like Harambe would, and he broke my fucking my holder. So now I have to. No, I so he he broke that and he shit. broke mine over here. But we got we got it we got it stable. Yeah. So this is the ghetto podcast of the year. Absolutely. Um, and I feel like we, we're, we're but as, ghetto as ghetto good. as it is, we're 100%. Yeah. yeah. So I feel like anything we talk about in this podcast is just going to be real. Absolutely. Uh, we're going to bring not just news, but we're going to bring any updates, anything locally and anything, you know, 
globally. I feel like and our points of view. I think uh, not, not nothing. I did, I just, just truly feel like that that our mission for this podcast is to be who we are and and to, and to share our thoughts, not to be biased on anything. Or and, and we might not always agree, but uh, we're, we're gonna have the conversation. True. And and I feel like Danny, maybe you should kind of look at the camera a little bit more. Uh, I feel like that's something we could work on. I, I, I and before we were having this first podcast practice run. Right. I was kind of looking at you, but I feel like we gotta look at the people and let them know that we're talking to them. Oh, we are. Yeah, you're right. Maybe just give them that little extra connection. Um, and speaking of connections, uh, here locally, here in San Antonio, because I feel like starting up, we're we're just hitting locals right now. Absolutely. We're gonna talk about the WWE uh, that's coming in. What is it? Ne- sometime next year. It's the Royal Rumble. January, January 2017, it, baby. Royal oof. Rumble, 30 man battle royale in the city of San Antonio. Now I don't really watch wrestling, but you know what? I've been a fan. Ever since I Absolutely. was a kid, and I, and and def- Absolutely. and I've definitely loved you know, wrestling as, as growing up. I would I would go to it just just because I'm going. Yeah, I don't know if I can afford to. I don't know how I'm gonna get there. <laughs> I might sneak in. Why can't my un- income tax come before? Oh shit! Hey, you could file early. You could true. You could probably file now because you ain't getting no more check stubs. <laughs> Hey, if you don't know, it's or if, I mean, yeah, of course you like don't know, but you know what? Yeah. So me and Danny quit our nine to five job. Absolutely. Uh, I got fired. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> but still, it's like quitting it because you know what? I could have easily just got a nine to five job again. It, it, it within, is quitting, within, Jerry. Within a couple of days. You got it, fired because you quit a month it, before you got fired. You're right. You're right. You're right. Yeah, absolutely. You're right. If my boss were watching this, <laughs> I mean, they already knew. Fuck you. They, <laughs> 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 no, I, I liked my bosses. They were all right. They they did the right move, and that that's a business move that you got to make uh, in the corporate ro- world. Is that you have to right. remove right. any viruses that are that are hurting Damn, your business. You're a virus. I was, you you're know, a because I was de- because I was dedicated to m- what I love to do, and that was, you know, making videos for people and getting paid for that. Right. And you know what? Uh, here on the podcast, I, before I used, I, I I've been in this business for like a little bit of years, but I. I Little, a, a, a couple of years, but I, I really, I never really took it serious. And then when I met this guy, Danny, absolutely, uh, he 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 opened my mind and gave me a whole different perspective that that I could probably do this for a living. And it gave it gave me, uh, he definitely gave me doors that that opened for me, and for sure. and, and I felt like everything blew up for that. I agree. Um, so Daniel is not only a, a mentor, but he's also a great friend. So with this podcast together, I feel like it's just an amazing bond that we both have. For I feel sure. like it's great. Um, so yeah, man, like, like, so, so yeah, a couple of months, uh, before, before we getting fired, Can I, I stop I, real quick. Yeah, go ahead. That's the first time I've ever really heard that love story, yo. <laughs> like that, that I'm kind of touched by that. Yeah. You know what? Last year I wanted to write a, a huge kind of post and I was like, no, I don't, I don't know if, I don't know him oh, enough shit, to, we were to gonna write go on this. Facebook like I that. was, but, yeah. but I was kind of scared and I feel like, I feel like this is the perfect time. I feel like if, if <laughs> this podcast kind of turns off or something, I feel like, damn it. I wasted it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but, but it was on camera and it was caught genuine. So I, I love that. And, and if nobody sees it, I saw it. And, and <laughs> I appreciate that, man. And I, yeah. and I wish you the best. And, and, I, and Thank you. I appreciate it. And we're going to get there. And so Daniel, uh, Danny was a, uh, go ahead and introduce what, what you did in the 9 to 5. You man, know? I hated my 9 to 5, Jerry. Uh, this is hopefully an inspirational story to y'all because I've always been told, you know, money can't buy happiness. And I've always said that's the dumbest shit I've ever heard. Uh, <laughs> you know, I was getting paid hellified money, you know, doing a government contracting job, IT world, you know, messing with virtualization, you know, a whole bunch of servers, infrastructure. And uh, I hated it. I basically did it for the paycheck. Uh, I worked in a dungeon where you couldn't take your cell phone. It was just so classified and so secure that uh, you couldn't take anything in. You couldn't take anything out. And it just sucked. Some of the people were pretty cool, you know. Yeah. But it was a fucking government-run facility. Like, you fucking, I can't be me. I feel like I'm in a, you know, fucking walking in a corporate brainwashed world. And uh, yeah. I hated it. I completely hated it. I hated my life. Uh, and uh, I just walked away. I just literally didn't show up for two or three weeks. And uh, they started calling me and, like, and ever since then, it was just done. Yeah, they <laughs> thought I went to Mexico with their secrets and <laughs> shit. Hey, that's that's uh, shout out to Snowden. I'm about to uh, the, the movie hasn't sh- come out yet, right? Uh, it's releasing very soon. If it, I want, I want to watch it. 